The field of medical cannabis is booming here in Israel. It's considered by many to be one of the next major tech industries to come out of the country. There are so many exciting innovations in this field, and joining me today are Ido Hefner and Jordan Marcus from Indoors, which analyzes, predicts, and automates the optimal growing environment for medical grade cannabis. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Great, great to have you on. So tell me about Indoors. What exactly do you do? Well, Indoors is an agrotech company that uh, um, it's actually a command and control company that helping grower growers to achieve the right crops in their facility. Mm -hmm. We're using a lot of sensors and image processing and observing the plants and doing the right automations inside the facility and by that providing them the ability to have the real uh, uh, um, growth of the plants without any problems because every problem is affecting the facility mm -hmm. with a big impact and those impacts can be mitigated or totally eliminated with the right systems. Great, and let's talk about the medical cannabis industry because it's a sure. relatively new industry. Can you provide maybe some insight into that? Yeah, and so kind of to go off of what Ido said, you know, the, the reason why these guys are scaling up, the reason why they have so many challenges is because the industry today in 2018 in North America alone was $41 billion. By 2026, it's going to be nearly $100 billion of just cannabis sold across North America. With Europe and other places soon to follow, you know, you're talking about these challenges being, you know, environmental control, humidity control, structural and design control of these facilities. And as they're going from 10,000 square feet to 100,000 and above, you know, these, these problems become at a much larger scale and the risk is much greater. So for us, we're focusing on working with small to medium guys who are, who are scaling up mm -hmm. and who are looking to really uh, change and, and affect these issues in a positive way to be more proactive using, like Ido said, our automation, our technology, our image processing, our sensors to help reduce and eliminate those risks. Um, and we're seeing a very rapidly growing industry with many different environments and, and many customizations ahead. Okay, well, before we get to the, the tech, yeah. I want to hear a little bit more about the problems or the challenges yeah. facing uh, far more, f farmers uh, growing cannabis today. Sure. So, um, as an example, you know, they're facing humidity issues. So when you go from a room of 1,000 square feet to now you're making 10,000 square foot rooms, the airflow and the control of the temperature is much different. And the plants are, yes, they're in a closed control environment, but they're in a different space and they're reacting differently. And now you're using that data to see what you've done in the past and to utilize it to help you predict what's going on currently and into the future to help um, reduce those risks. Do you want to talk more about specifically yeah, of course. some of the problems? You know, um, actually, Cannabis farming, it's like a factory. There are a lot of moving parts. Mm -hmm. You have valves and pumps and electric... Uh, 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 HVAC systems. HVAC systems mm -hmm. and lamps and fertigation and fertilizers. It's a very complex very operation. Very complex. Mm -hmm. And, you know... And people <laughs> running those <laughs> operations. It's so, always the human factor that yeah. we need to take into account. And you, know, you, you need only one thing to go down, to go with malfunction that you're not aware. And most of the growers are only recognize the problems when the plants are reflecting it. And it's too late. And by then it's too late. It's too late mm -hmm. because it's a live organism. It's not a, me it's not a medicine from the big pharma. Mm -hmm. You so, can't turn back the clock. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. for this batch, you got a different thing. And this, consist this lack of consistency in this problem is one of the biggest that mm -hmm. uh, the growers are dealing with. So indoors is there, supervising everything. We have sensors in all the levels, in, in, all, in all levels, in the atmosphere, in the water tanks, in the root zone even, you know, where the media is, where the, the roots are. And yeah. by that, we combine it with image processing. So the image processing is giving us like a quality label. We see how the plants are progressing every day. Mm -hmm. We see if there is a problem. We can collate the data with the feedback from the cameras and give a lot of insights to the grower. Mm -hmm. As an know? example, something we're doing is, you know, plant discoloration or, or you know, from heat stress events or mm -hmm. things like that. You know, items that we're seeing potentially before they're happening, we're recommending to the growers to go check a specific zone or yeah. to go mm -hmm. check a specific area so they can kind of bring that plant or bring that zone yeah. back to life before it's Actually, too Actually, we, we are turning the growers into proactive regarding their yeah. functions mm -hmm. other than uh, reactive and it's mm -hmm. a different game. Giving them a toolbox, if you will. It's a different game that impact the ROI, impact the revenues, and impact the final product, which mm -hmm. is count the most, of because course. there are people behind it that using it. Yeah. And as long as it's going mainstream, it should be very similar to the stable things, products that we are achieving from the 
big pharma. And can you tell me what stage you're in today? I mean, is this technology already in use? Um, yes, of course. Um, so today we are working for three years. We, you know, we only went out from stealth mode like one year ago. Mm -hmm. And now we have a few clients over North America and in, and in Canada, Canada and the States. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we are on the second phase that in a few weeks we are about to install in 10 farms, 10 new farms. Yeah, and uh, this solution is uh, really bringing the, the right KPI for the growers. And this is what we do. We show them, look what we, you had before us. And now after indoors, mm -hmm. you can even turn it into money. Mm -hmm. Because in the end, uh, you're getting money for this, this hard work. Absolutely. And, yeah. and what's interesting about this market is that you have small growers who are trying to really hone in on the cannabinoid profile and really do something special with the plant and, and create a medical value. And you have medium to large scale guys that have different issues and maybe are more focused on the business and operation and less, mm -hmm. you know, but also focused on the plant. So there are a myriad of challenges here that, you know, we're looking to help solve to become one of the technology leaders in the industry. Yeah. Great. Well, Dawn Jordan, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you. Thank you so much.